Today we're going to take a look at many different fun things that have arrived here at Garden Crossings for our retail garden center. Hi, I'm Heidi. So some of the shipments that we've recently got in are house plants from the plant company. We also got in our Aquapot light liners. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those and kind of talk about them and explain them. And then we're also going to just show you some of the various other fun things that we've gotten that you can expect to find when you come to our local garden center here in Zeeland, Michigan. Along with all of the beautiful plants that we carry online at GardenCrossings.com, we have this beautiful space for walk-in retail. So if you're local or feel like taking a visit to Zeeland, Michigan, we'd love to have you. Our retail garden center opens April 12th, and we're going to kick off that weekend with a planting party event. So you can come in, plant up hanging baskets and containers, and get your hands dirty. So let's go ahead and dig into these boxes and see some of the beautiful house plants that were recently delivered to us. So I know when you open boxes, it's like Christmas and it is for us as well. Like we get just as excited when we get new things here in the store. So, ooh, these are really cool. Look at those, how fun is that? So it's a little test tube that has a house plant in it sitting in water. This is just such a cool looking, I'm gonna call it vase, but probably just more of a thing you can set on like your table, your desk. There's all kinds of various plants, different varieties. It's called a deco ring. There's another one. So these plants will continue to grow as they are feeding off of the water that is in the little test tubes. So this is a new product for us and this is really exciting. Let's see what else we got. So this box says Leaf Joy Beakers. Ooh, and there's flowers. Oh, these are gorgeous. I know one of these is sold already to me. Look at that beautiful plant full of flowers. And this is in our little beakers. So it's in the little glass bowl. The roots are in there and feeding off of the water. So with these plants, they really don't have to get refilled very often. Uh, depending on the variety and the location where you have them setting in your home, usually about every two to three weeks or so, I'll just change out the water with fresh water. Uh, typically though, the water never runs out before it's time for me to refresh with some nice clear water. There's another one, a philodendron. Beautiful. Nice variegated foliage here. This is going to be actually more of a trailing type plant. But can you envision one of these sitting on your desk? I know I can. And I know I will. So with a house plant craze, obviously you can always get your house plants in a potted plant. But with these different unique types of vases or things that they have them planted with, I think it just creates just a little added extra something special and gives a unique look to house plants. Oh, I feel like every time I open the box, I'm like, ooh, ah. So here's a shipment of the Leaf Joy Littles. So these are house plants in just little containers. I believe this is a three inch pot that these are coming in. So what do we have here? Uh, Crassula, so this is more of like a succulent. And then Fitonia. That's a really pretty color. So this is where you could combine a, several of these together to create like a mixed house plant planter if you wanted to. But even I could see those paired together. Isn't that a good contrast of color and texture? All right, these look like, I don't know. I thought the box was gonna give me a clue and it might be, but I'm not. Nice. All right. So here we've got some more of these little, these aren't beakers, but they're called the Shenandoah Collection. Pretty little jars. They come in several different colors. Kind of a smoky one. Oh, this is cute. Look at the shape there. Rosy. It's kind of a fun color. A little bit of a green. So yeah, these plants, they'll just continue to grow and get more and more roots. At some point, if you want to replant them, you certainly can. 
but I typically just leave mine in these little glass jars for as long as as long as they're doing well I leave them in there so really another fun collection with a unique vase that these are all planted in leaf joy h2o bowls these actually look like the beakers the ones we saw earlier were bowls these are more that beaker shaped beautiful nice big plants pretty they're a little chilly we'll get them nice and toasty here in the greenhouse but look at that wow that's a beautiful plant This foliage sure is pretty. These are some more of the minis. Look at that. That's a nice begonia. Beautiful polka dotted foliage. Syngonium. That's got some pretty great foliage as well. So some of these varieties of begonias, obviously, I'm familiar with those, but I don't know that I've ever really heard of a syngonium before. So it's kind of fun with these house plants, getting them in and seeing all these new varieties and just trying them out. The nice thing with the plants that we're getting here from the plant company is they've all been cleaned and shined before they sent to us. So just look at that. I don't know if you can see the kind of shimmer and the shine there on that foliage. They're always really nice, clean greenhouse grown, grown plants, opposed to a lot of house plants that are grown down in Florida and they're grown outdoors. So a lot of times they've got water spot on them or brown spots. The plants we get here from the plant company are always in tip top, excellent shape another beautiful foliage this one is super thick too super thick and rubbery this is an alocasia called mythic really nice these look like they're going to be more of the minis crossula just kind of cute little containers Another trailing plant. Excellent looking as well. Just so clean. Like I said, clean. Ooh, these are the big guys. Maybe this is what's going to have to find its place on my desk. Let's be real. They probably both will. Look at that monster. That is a huge bowl. Gorgeous plant. I think I have the space. I'm sure I'm going to make it fit. That is so beautiful. Another one. And again, are you thinking of a place where you might be able to keep one of these? Some more of the minis. That's really pretty. Syngonium starlight. Nice foliage. Uh, pepperom Pepperomia. Spice is nice is its name. It's got really nice dark foliage on that. In the last box, these are going to also be some minis. Look at this. Fetonias. So beautiful. So if you're in Zealand, stop by the garden center and get your hands on one of these beautiful house plants from the plant company. Next, we're going to head on over to the Aquapot lights and kind of look at those inserts and talk about those. So all the fun things going on right now here at Garden Crossings. Let's head on over and take a look. So the shipment of the Aquapot lights just came in. So we've got our inserts as well as we got a bunch of uh, pots that will go with the inserts as well. So the nice thing with the Aquapot lights is you can buy just this insert and use it on any pot you might have. So it does come with an adapter also. So if you have a square pot, you can just put the adapter on it like so, and it'll fit into the square pot. One thing I would recommend is if you have a pot that you are thinking of using these Aquapot light inserts in, bring them into the garden center so we can make sure that it's gonna be a good fit in your pot. So obviously if your pot's too small, it's just not gonna fit. Um, or if it's too large, there are ways that we can help you kind of make that work as well. Um, but yeah, what's nice is this is very versatile for both a square or a round pot, whichever it is you have. So this actually is one that we used last fall that we did a trial with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you a little bit closer what the insert looks like. So it has a 2.9 gallon capacity to it. Um, sorry, it's kind of dirty, but like I said, it was one we used. 
So you'll notice this water reservoir has no hole in the bottom because it's exactly that. It's a water reservoir. This holds the water. Then you'll notice that this that sets over top of that reservoir has holes in it. So when you plant up your pot, your soil is going to go down into this cone and that soil is going to wick through these holes, the water up into your plants and into your planter. So that sets on there like that. You'll also notice there's a nice telescoping fill tube that you will extend to fill the water into your reservoir. So we've got the square pot. One thing I'm going to show you with these aqua pot inserts is you want to have a pot that has a hole in the bottom. So that's very important because if this reservoir is so full of water and you don't have a hole in the bottom of your pot, your pot could become like a soupy mess. So any excess water that is overflowing that reservoir will then drain out of your pot, which is what you want. So let's go ahead and slip the collar on, like so. We're going to set this down into our container. And that's what it looks like sitting down in your container. So any excess water that's in that reservoir there is going to drain over and down into the bottom and escape. So before you start planting, you want to put the insert obviously over top of that water reservoir like so. And now it's ready to begin planting. I did do a video last fall of planting up the aqua pot. We'll put a link below where you can watch me and how that all went. Uh, one thing you can do with these, it's really nice, is you could put in a water soluble or a slow release fertilizer down into that water reservoir. That way your plants are continuously getting fed throughout the season. So every time you go and refill the water reservoir, add a little bit of the water soluble fertilizer in and that way your plants will continually be fed all summer long because you know the saying feed them and they'll be fabulous uh, so we're excited to finally have these in it's been almost a year in waiting for them and i think this is a nice option because with our original ceramic aqua pots so many people were asking they wanted the system but they didn't necessarily want that heavy ceramic pot so this is a great option where you can use plants planters that you currently have with the aquapot light insert system and yeah use what you have but also enjoy the ability to um, be able to not have to water your plants every single day depending on the plants you use depending on the time of year more than likely you'll have to refill the reservoir maybe every three days or so so that's something that you'll kind of kind of get to know your plants and get to know your area as to how often it is you're needing to refill it. Uh, but any day saved with watering is a day saved from watering. So excited to finally have these in stock. We're going to go ahead and just walk around the garden center and check out a few more of the wonderful things that we've gotten in this year. Um, actually, we're going to just turn around and show you some beautiful metal art we got in. So look at all of these beautiful, bright, bold, flowers poke them in the landscape and just add a beautiful splash of color so those of you who are local here you know that tulip time is a big thing in downtown holland so it's really fun that this display come with several different sizes of tulips so if you're looking to have tulips in your garden all season long we've got these beautiful metal metal tulips that you can place in your garden various different colors and various different sizes cool looking daisies pansies, poppies, all the fun things. We also got a really great selection of Michael Carr bird baths in. So if you're looking to add some interest to the garden where you can watch the birds, beautiful colors of these Michael Carr ceramic bird baths. What else do we have? We've got all kinds of things. So the girls have been working so hard in the last week or so, getting the store all stocked up and ready. So many fun, whimsy things. There's still things that need to be done. So obviously you can see this display here. We need to fill it up yet. But succulents, house plants, fairy garden plants, fairy garden accessories, all the things. So take your kids in, grandmas, take your grandkids in and create their very own little beautiful fairy garden. It's so much fun to just introduce plants and planting to that younger generation. And once you have a kid hooked on gardening or hooked on plants, 
usually it's something they'll stick with them for years to come. And I've been doing a lot of interviews lately, hiring, and a lot of these kids that are coming in, I'll say, so what is your knowledge of plants? What, you know, what do you know about plants? And they may not know a lot about plants, but consistently over and over again, these kids are telling me of memories, memories of them helping their grandmas in their garden. So those of you who are grandparents, you are making an influence on that younger generation. They're coming to me and they're talking about the time that was spent with their grandparents in their gardens. So keep that up. Also, we have some fun, whimsy planters. These garden heads every year. These are always one of those things that just fly out of here. People will collect them all. There's some that are cute, some that are whimsy, some that are just downright silly, uh, but fun. Fun little things that you can put in the garden. Chick charm hen and chicks. So we've got the full collection of chick charms. There is probably 20 or so different varieties. There's chick charm giants, chick charm minute, miniatures, or minis, and just the normal selection of chip, chick charms. So succulents are easy to grow. This time of year, maybe you're not out in the garden yet, but these are fun things that you can take indoors, put in your window, and just watch them grow and watch them thrive. Espoma. I'm sure you've heard of Espoma. If you watch Laura from Garden Answer, this is all she uses is Espoma products. And we've got the full collection of Espoma. This is our fertilizers and our plant care things. We also have land and sea and their garden soil or um, what do they have there? The garden soil, potting soil, land and sea, mushroom compost, all the things, we've got it all. So stock up on your, your Espoma products because your garden is gonna really thank you for that. Speaking of garden solutions, Captain Jack's brand of products. So if you've got caterpillars, if you've got mites, if you've got budworm, all those things. We've got the neem, the neem max, the fungicide for the copper fungicide, BT, all of the things that maybe you've heard about before but aren't sure where to get them or what they do. The team here at Garden Crossings has been educated on all of the Captain Jacks as well as the Espoma products so that they'll be able to get you going in the right direction so that your plants will be successful throughout the season. As I mentioned, plants have been being brought in here over the last week or so, so things are really starting to look colorful. Obviously we're in Michigan and we're not really planting outside yet, uh, but this does give you a place where you can get inspired, come in and get ideas. There's never too early to start planting that spring garden or those spring containers. And this is just an area that can surround you with inspiration from wall to wall. So stop on in this Friday and Saturday, April 12th and 13th for our planting party open house and just come and enjoy the sights, the smells and just all the beautiful things here at Garden Crossings. For those of you who aren't local, you're not gonna miss out because you can head to our website, gardencrossings.com where you can shop for all of these beautiful plants that I've shown you today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And thanks for watching. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.